A new fissure has just opened up. The 17th, skewing steam, skewing lava. This is video of the 16th fissure, which is uh, starting to calm down now. Hawaiian officials caution more eruptions could be on the way as red hot lava in Kilauea's Summit Lake drains towards underground water, creating a potentially explosive mix. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has declared a major disaster there after days of the volcano spewing hazardous gas and lava high into the air. Kilauea, on Hawaii's Big Island, began erupting on May 3rd. We can now get the latest from Ivan Cabrera, who is at the CNN Weather Center. And Ivan, earlier this weekend, you had explained to us, with all your science and your diagrams, that this was going to happen. Yes, and it continues to happen. And I'm going to make this a point, good to see you, Cyril. I think this is going to be the main threat. It has been and it will continue to be. Yes, there's a potential for an explosive eruption, and I will get uh, very detailed in three dimensions in uh, just a couple of minutes here. But uh, let's recap what's been going on across uh, Kilauea here. As Cyril mentioned, two new fissures since we last saw each other, 16 and now in the last couple of hours, the USGS reporting a 17th fissure, and that one looks to be pretty active. The 16th is now closing up. So one pops up, the other one, I mean, this is uh, just quite something here. So that additional fissure is going to be monitored. High levels of sulfur dioxide, of course, are going to emanate from it. And then we're going to be watching for that uh, potential explosive erosion over the next several days. By the way, this is the Alea here of Alani Estates. There's the evacuation zone. There are the closed roads. The new fissures have impacted the eastern area here. So we'll continue to monitor that. But this whole area here Folks have been taken out of the way with uh, good reason, as you can imagine, as these things continue to pop up just uh, every few hours, every day or so. This is the lake, of course, and this is the counter that I've been showing the last few days, noticing that as the lake drained its lava, it went underground, and that's the lava that's coming up to the fissures. I think, again, that's going to be the main threat. Notice as this continues to go down over the last uh, several days, in one of our last pictures here, we can't see the lava anymore that's uh, an infrared camera so the red you're seeing there that's basically just a heat signature here so as that lava drops into the crater and into the basically a t water table let's talk about what could potentially happen as far as this uh, explosive uh, eruption here as we check in uh, with our uh, volcano there's the lava and again, what happens is you get these rocks that will continue to fall down, and that will create a blockage. I don't have to tell you what happens with the kinds of temperatures we're seeing in here. We're talking about temperatures well into 1,500 to 2,000 Celsius, right? Those rocks blocking that uh, passageway at some point are going to give. And once that goes into the water tables you see there, we're going to have, watch out, quite an explosion here. But again... I'm really not too concerned about this. It's going to be a spectacular eruption when it happens, but I think, Cyril, because they have evacuated people out of the way, these boulders, which sometimes can be the size of a school bus, are not going to be impacting many folks. This is going to be within a few meters of the crater here, and uh, before that happens, you must imagine people will be getting out of the way, and that's why they've closed the National uh, Volcano Park there in the Big Island. Um, yeah. Why expecting...